Hello and welcome to Just a Research Log by Julie Goucher. Why keep a research log? It's best practice. It helps keep us organised to avoid duplication of work in error, to plot both successful and unsuccessful searches and there will be a degree of movement between a research log and a to-do list. So how to keep a research log? In a notebook. Mine was originally started in 1989 and was in a notebook. About seven years ago, I moved across to a digital notebook and I still have my old notebook. And one day, perhaps I'll just add all that early stuff into the digital one and then get rid of the notebook. But for now, I've kept the two separate. I use a spreadsheet currently. I then use the cloud and I use Google Drive to store my research log, which you could store your log in a Dropbox or OneDrive or any of the other cloud facilities available. A research log will be as individual as we all are, and it will be devised by whatever suits your mechanism for how you research. I think you need to make sure that whatever your research log reflects, it's something that you can work with and feel happy with. Here's mine. So as I said, I use a spreadsheet. I have a guidance sheet at the start of all my workbooks. I keep my research log and my to-do list together. They're on separate sheets, but they're in the same workbook. I have a current research log and an archive research log. So at the beginning of 2014, I created a new log and every month I cut and paste all the what I've researched in that month to my archive log. So my archive log actually has seven years worth of research and the current log just has August. At the end of August, I will cut and paste all the details across to the archive and just have September. It works best for me that way. I then know if I haven't done something that month where I need to look. And then I store my log in the cloud. And as I said, I use Google Drive. So here's how mine works. The first sheet is my research log guidance, guidance notes. The second sheet is my actual research log, which uses those fields that I've showed here, date, archive type, details, surnames, notes, links, save to and to-do list. And the third sheet is my to-do list, which has the same fields as you can imagine that you can read here. They added, to-do information, they complete and further information. The next three slides are my current worksheets. So this is my guidance sheet, as you can see. So the point of a guidance note is so that I can remember, should I forget, what each field means. It also enables other people, should they need to access my research, it enables them to find out my methodology, what I put in which field and why. And that is part of my succession planning. So if someone else was to look at this, they could kind of understand where I'm at. So you can see the fields that I use for my research log on the top section. And in the bottom section, you can see it says my to-do log. My research log says the date undertaken, the archive type could be a records office, a museum, a book or a website. The details is record any material located. If I find 15 things, I have 15 lines. Surnames. Now in that I put the surname that the research is relevant to. That's because if I want to do a search on whatever I found for the surname of Butcher, for example, I can do a filter and it will pull up everything I've done. Here are in the notes section, I record ideas that occur to me perhaps for other research, or perhaps I look at something for a particular thing and think actually that would be quite good for something else. I make a note of it here. Links, that's where I put the links of any websites that I've used. And then the final column is data saved to. Some things I save to Evernote, some things I save to OneNote, and I also have a physical notebook. Now it says notebook here. Um, in actual fact, I'm on currently on notebook 68. Um, I've just gone from 67 to 68, which is why it doesn't actually specify at the moment, but it will do. At the end of the month, I'll make sure that everything's in the right notebook. And then my to-do li to list is date I've added the material that I need to look at, what I plan to look for, the date I've completed it, and then the further information is any notes that I need. That's perhaps snippets for me personally. And my second workbook is the research log itself. So here I've got just August, but still at the beginning of the month, and I haven't done too much research that's appeared on this log currently. So the date that I did this was the 7th of August, and my archive type was Wiltshire and Swindon Records Office here in England, and there's a phone number there because I telephoned them. I, my task was to understand what material was housed with them in relation to Unigate Dairies. 
they did devise me that they had some material available. They weren't specific to individual employee records and there was an in-house staff magazine that might have some information about retirement and obituaries. The surname this was relevant to was surname Butcher and in the notes I rang them on the 7th of August and the archivist was going to email me. I received that email on the 8th of August and the email was saved to Evernote. I tend to save a lot of my personal emails to Evernote and I very often just forward or blind copy in my Evernote email address. The links refer to the link that takes me to the link that told me there was material at Wiltshire and Swindon Records Office. I've saved the data to, I've saved the data in this instance to a notebook because I took some notes and to my Evernote email notebook. To do list, yes, there was a note added on my to do list as you will see in a moment. So here's the to do list. The date added was the 8th of August, and my to do information is to search the Unigate News for issues of reference for George Butcher, who was my grandfather, who retired in the early 70s and he passed away in 1974. So there is a chance that there will be some of that material in the in house magazine. And when I've completed it, that date will be in the column mark date complete. And further information will be where I put a reference point that tells me something else that I need to go and look at. So if you want a copy of this presentation, you can have one. It's available as is a link to download a set of the spreadsheets at my website, which is www.anglers-rest.net forward slash research logs.html. Thank you very much and I hope you found this presentation useful. Bye bye.